a new mission strategy for the Episcopal Diocese of Massachusetts will help guide our work over the next three years. Our mission strategy will be the foundation of our future progress as disciples of Jesus based on the gifts and needs of our diocese. It will help us to create sustainable models of ministry, embrace the diversity of our communities, honor the gifts and needs of our elders, and reach out to the next generation. Here's how we'll create our mission strategy together. In phase one, a design team created a process to include everyone's voices. In phase two, a listening team will hear everyone's voices. They will first start conversations. The team will invite your insights through surveys, large forums, and smaller targeted meetings from December through February. Next, they will gather information. With expert guidance, the listening team will collect and analyze the information from the surveys and conversations to ensure that everyone's voice is heard clearly and given careful consideration. Finally, the listening team will invite feedback. The team will post a report online in April so that everyone can see what ideas have emerged and let us know if there is something important that we missed. In Phase 3, a strategy team will take action. They will first identify priorities. The team will prayerfully consider the insights from the listening process about the challenges and opportunities in our diocese, the Episcopal Church, and the wider community. Next, they will decide on a plan of action. The strategy team will recommend next steps to you at our convention in November 2016. This plan will help us set priorities for our financial and staff resources. Our mission strategy will be a bold vision for our future with God and a set of concrete goals will help us make that dream a reality. We need your voice in the listening process. We need every member of our diocese to take part, young and old, cradle and convert, big cities, small towns, traditional parishes, and new ministries, across races and ethnicities, genders and orientations, incomes and abilities, representing the full diversity of our church. Please make a plan to attend one of the open forums or to complete a survey. Encourage others to take part with you. Invite your community to have a conversation about the future of our diocese. Pray that together we will be open to the movement of the Holy Spirit.